Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we discovered the Kingdom of Ze- and, uh, Kingdom of Zeal, and we, uh, met Shala and Yanis. It's Prince and Princess, I guess? I'm very tired, and, uh, holy shit, nothing kills your motivation quicker than shit happening and you losing footage. That's basically all I wanted to explain while, uh... While I do this neat trick that you guys taught me in the comments that will get me, uh, an accessory that gives me a triple tech. Please forgive me if I seem a bit out of it this episode. Uh, I, uh, may have not gotten any sleep. Oops. Because working with this new recording setup and this new editing software is kind of suffering. But yeah, I have been missing way too many episodes lately, so I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just, I'm just gonna pull an all-nighter. So if I seem out of it this episode, I am sorry. For now, uh, just gotta head back up here. I just wanted to get that item really quick. Thank you, thanks you guys for pointing that out to me. Although it was a little bit weird that, like, I was just opening up on the magic books because I'm just like, hee hee, silly magic books that have special effects. And then somebody's like, hey, you're doing it wrong. And I'm just like, what the frick dang are you talking about? And they're just like, if you open it up in this order, something will happen. And so I did. And that's what happened. Anyway, we watched Shala go through here. Apparently her pendant is key to opening up that door. And if you talk to one of these assholes, no one may enter while the queen is away at the Ocean Palace. Your pendant. It looks just like Shala's. I heard that when Shala communes with the Mammon machine, her pendant starts to glow. So that's something we gotta do. We gotta take Sha we gotta take Marley's necklace to the uh, to the Mammon machine. And bup. Also, the assholes surrounding the Mammon Machine have some really interesting shit to say about it. That glow! That's the pendant the Guru has made for Shala! How did you get it? Oh, I didn't know that a new thing happened if you actually, like, communed with the Mammon Machine. <laughs> but basically, uh... The Mammon Machine apparently... is designed to draw energy from Lavos itself? And, uh... Somebody by the name of Melchior helped make it, and uh, I kind of wish I hadn't lost the footage because I'm just like, holy shit, that Melchior? Oh my god, the gurus are time travelers. But I didn't. I lost the footage, and I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, we did it! Yeah, we did. Hey, look, go. No fear, Chrono. Unfortunately, now we have to deal with the fucking queen bitch. Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, they are the evildoers I warned you of. How dare you think you could oppose me, you foreigners? You're worse than the gurus. Fools! Dalton, take them away! Yes, ma'am, by your leave. Gollum! Now, when I first did this fight in, in the initial recording, I panicked because this guy did a shit ton of damage. However, in the case of this fight, the only winning move is not to play. I shit you not, you're supposed to lose. I'm just like, 
if this is done right, I don't care if it's a thing, but most of the time it, it's not fucking done right. I'm gonna whack it once out of spite. <laughs> Fear not! You won't die. Immediately, that is. By the time we're through with you, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion. God, I don't know who's worse, her or Queen Bronhe from fucking Final Fantasy IX. Both of them have very cute daughters, too. Hm, <laughs> idiots. What'll you do, Shala? Let us rescue them. I think it's useless. Besides, if they escape, you'll be in trouble. Don't worry about me. They just might be able to rescue the gurus. Melchior is fine, though. That's something I didn't get when she first said this. Are you alright? Quickly, escape from the palace. And if you can, please rescue Melchior. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing the Queen. Please, you have to help him. I'm afraid I can't allow that. And then this asshole shows up. Which, by the way, can I can I make a hypothesis because we're getting to the point where I lost the footage and just had to stop recording? I see a tuft of blue hair under those robes. Is the Prophet Magus by any chance? But at the very, very least, like, fucking Yanis and Shala vouch for us, and so does the cat. And when a cat vouches for you, you know your soul is... mostly pure. But yeah, he asks how to shin to show him the gate. Mm, so you came then through here. Now, Shala, after I throw them in, I want you to seal the portal shut. N no! You can't make me! Obey me! Their lives are at stake! I... <sighs> Alright. Which makes me mad, because it's just like, there's four of us, and one of him. And if he's not Magus, the fight's not exactly going to be hard. Yeah, apparently Shala can seal gates. Please forgive me. I'll you forgive you because you didn't want to, but I am going to chide you for, for making a dumb move, like working with him when we are very clearly outnumbering him. Why did the Prophet let us go? They take energy from Lavos. Lavos not get weak? Wait a minute. I've seen the design on the door, Zona. This pendant opens. Somewhere else. And that somewhere else is the distant future. Which makes me very giddy because, oh my lord, are we finally going to be able to open up those fucking doors? Those fucking chests? Let's check it out, Chrono! Okay, now when you leave, do not make the same mistake that I did. You are still at bare minimum health after fighting Gollum. Use a shelter or find a place to get some rest immediately. Because if you try to go back to the fucking canyon, uh, gate in the Mystic Mountains, you're gonna fucking die. It's gonna be super embarrassing, and you're gonna hate yourself. It's 
let's just ignore all these little weaklings. Climb our asses up here. And jump. Okay. Now, I think what I want to do, since fucking Ayla and Marley have been running a fucking marathon with us, the phone's ringing. Who the fuck's calling at 8 a.m.? Anyway, but because Marley and, and Ayla have been basically running a marathon with us... I'm gonna give them a break in exchange for Robo and Luca. Ah! Oh hey, Ayla sits like I do. <laughs> and I'm gonna save... Okay. I don't remember which one of these leads to the distant future. Protodome, there we go. Alright, let's go. Okay. need to remember how, like, the fucking structures of this place, of this time, work again. Oh, do we have to go all the fucking way back? I don't think we do. I think we do. Do we? No, we don't. Okay, never mind. What the? Did we just take damage? No? I don't know what that was then. I don't think the door was in the factory though. I think it was like all the way back in the dome. What that actually has like the remnants of humanity in it. Pretty sure it was an Aristone. Aristone is the one with all the people, yeah? Yeah, okay. If you lads will excuse me. I'm pretty sure the, uh, the door is here anyway. I could be wrong. I usually am. Oh wait, fuck. There we go. Colonel learns. I'm sorry, what? Life? Holy fuck. Okay. That was something I was expecting, like, Marley or maybe Robo to learn, but, uh, okay. I'll take it. Also, I'm having second thoughts. I don't think the door is down here. I could be remembering wrong. I usually do because my memory is garbage. I'm pretty sure it was like in Eris Dome or near Eris Dome. We may just spend like the last few minutes of this episode going on a wild goose chase, and for that, I am sorry. Yep, wild goose chase. Shice. Alright. Oh no, wait, here's the door right here. Wait, can we not? 
Can we not get down there? Huh. No, it doesn't look like we can. Okay. Oh, no, wait, but we can from over here. Okay. Hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. No? I, all right. I guess we need to find one specific door. I mean, we can do that, but... Okay. So... Was it in the other direction? Or was it in just like... The dome we woke up in. It may have been in the dome we woke up in. But I will check the remainder of this dome just in case. Because I could be wrong, and I usually am, so... Is it in here? No? The following is written on a solid sheet of paper. The red is more- oh, right, right, that. Okay, so yeah, it's- I guess it's in the dome that we woke up in. I'm not gonna check- I'm not gonna catch that fucking rat bastard again. He's decidedly not worth it. <laughs> here, don't we? Okay, I'm pretty sure it was in the Trandome. Or, no, wait, not the Trandome. Fucking, maybe the Trandome? And it begins to glow. Okay, so what's in here? Full ether, cold stud, and a magic tab. Cool. So, basically, we have access to a bunch of goodies now, I think. I'm just gonna, like, go check in the other place, just in case. Banger dome. Yeah, there's a door right here. I don't think it's the door, though, but hey. Charm top. Full ether. And a, a, a wallet. A buh. Now, I guess I'm going to go back to the corridors of time, and we will call it an episode. So, I guess next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger, we will go looking for, that, for the right door that Marley was talking about. I will see you guys then, and take care. Thanks for sticking around till the end. If you like what you saw, please consider leaving a like, a comment, or maybe even subscribing. If you want to see more of my content, there are some recommendations for you on screen right now. See you soon!